but you have to try it out may and then more and more oysters are tried out they might become game changer so they might bring value for you and they also become successful technologically and then of course the kind of projects that what we call as the market driven or the customer driven bread and butter you can't ignore those these projects also need to be nurtured on a continuous basis but while you are developing all this portfolio you might develop portfolio which what we call it a, a white elephant which may have technical feasibility of success very low and npv also very low you need to identify this and selectively forget these projects because these these would incur more and more r&d expenditure but may not be worth to carry them forward to develop a good portfolio and when we extend this uh, to our patent portfolio we need to understand how our portfolio the patent portfolio looks like do we have the core differentiators which have having very high commercial value and which also give us competitive advantage and how this this kind of portfolio can be driven or created what we discuss about the portfolio which is driven by the technological push you create and you identify the products for the future the augmented products the potential products that would help you to define your ip portfolio in this particular segment what we call as a core differentiators and there are there are the another sec, set uh, set of uh, patents what we call as the crowded competing technology you have your ip the commercial value is very high but the competitive advantage that you get out of it may not be very high because there are alternate options what you have your competitors have alternate options for you but still these are relevant and then of course technology is under development which might become tomorrow the core differentiators but we also need to understand whether we are carrying junk and productivity related patents in our portfolio or not if you are carrying this we need to abandon it we need to selectively forget this uh just to end uh, my discussion i just would like to say that the 21st century is the century which is knowledge driven economy the intangibles has taken a big portion of tangible the manufacturing industry used to be earlier driven by the the brick and mortar the capital instruments and all those things now there's a strategic shift that we have seen it's driven by intangibles it is driven by the people it's driven by the know how it's driven by the ips but at the same time these intangibles are changing very fast so the fight in future is not going to be between big versus small but it's going to be between fast versus slow with this i would like to end my discussion thank you for patience